So there it is, that's where we're going. You can see it out behind the rest of those buildings. Torre Constanera. All right, let's head over there right now. Torre Constanera. Let's go. Before we do that, I just wanna say real quick, thank you very much for watching the video. Click the like button and the subscribe button and leave a comment down below. It's free, it's easy, and it will help the channel grow and help this content reach other YouTube viewers. All right, back to the video. Okay, we've arrived, Constanera Tower, Torre Constanera. We are right outside, look at this thing. There it is. It is very tall, and we are gonna go up to the top, so let's go. Here's a model of like the whole complex. It's four buildings, and they're all connected. It takes up about, I would say it's, it's kind of like two square, or um, four square blocks. And of course, the gem of the entire complex, the tower, Torre, Gran, Gran Torre Constanera. This is Constanera Center. A fairly big, bustling mall. Tons of shops in here. Lots of people in here shopping today. Uh, this isn't even like, this is on a weekday. This is, uh, I would imagine, much busier on a weekend. This whole complex was built like about a decade ago, actually, over the course of a few years in the 2010s. Um, so, I mean, it's pretty recent. It's not like it's been around for a long time. several floors. You can see we're up on the second floor and it goes all the way up. Five floors. They have uh, La Pantaja 3D Interactiva Mas Grande de Latinoamerica, the largest 3D interactive screen in Latin America. They have people down there doing like VR demonstrations. So definitely a, definitely a high-tech place. Here it is, Sky Constanera. Go up to the very, very top. Get to see the views from up there. Looks like it is uh, kind of pricey to get up there too. 18,000 pesos, that's about 20 bucks. But you know what? We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it, it's gonna be good. Looks like there aren't too many people in line here, so. Let's go ahead, let's get our ticket, let's go up and check this place out. Along the way up, there's like a little timeline on the wall. In 1986, they purchased the land. 2005, started the excavation. 6,000 workers, 105,000 tons of steel. 2012, they opened the mall. 2013, they started installing the curtain wall on the tower and then they opened Sky Constanera 2015. 
So here's the view from the top. Way out there you can see Cerro Calan, the Calan Hill. And you can see the whole city. The observation deck, I mean, it goes all the way around. Man, you can see, yeah, these hills all the way out there. And the city really is gigantic. I mean, we saw it from the top of San Cristobal Hill. We saw it from the top of uh, Santa, Santa Lucia Hill. And uh, you can definitely see it from here. It's incredible. I hope you can hear everything okay. There are these giant, like, um, air conditioners, huge industrial air conditioners up here that are blowing, like, um, super, super loud. Man, this is an incredible view. Like this, <laughs> this air conditioner that we're next to right here is like insanely loud. The thing's blowing like a hurricane. I really hope you can hear. I don't know, <laughs> maybe you'll try to like equalize the sound in the recording. Just an incredible view. It's a little quieter over here. I'm trying to figure out which direction we're looking when we're up here. Let's see. Uh, let me take a look here. I, I have no idea. Unfortunately, I don't know the city well enough to know really like which direction we're looking. Oh wait, no, actually, you know what, I think I do know which direction we're looking. Okay, so I think that's like Providencia, that street down there, because right over here, this is San Cristobal Hill. That's uh, Cerro San Cristobal, the, the hill that we were on in the previous video. And there's the river. So then that way, that's west. We're looking west here. I wonder if we can see, let's see, if that's San Cristobal Hill, and we're looking west, then I want to say, that like right there, sort of in the center, that little hill, that is Santa Lucia Hill. Uh, I don't know if you can see it in the video. This is really incredible up here. Well, you know you're really high up when San Cristobal Hill looks that small. Torre Mas Alta de Sud America, tallest tower in South America, and they have some other buildings here to show like a comparison, and I would like to say that as a uh, resident of the city of Chicago, I am personally offended that the Sears slash Willis Tower is not, uh, not on here, but it would be like number three in between the Empire State and the uh, Patronus Tower. Actually, technically, it'd be taller than the Patronus Tower. But there it is, number five. It is quite a tall tower. Regardless of how it compares to the rest of the ones in the world, it's quite tall. And all you have to do to know how tall it is is to just look out the window. It's quite tall. It is quite tall. Still. Still offended Sears Tower is not on there. There's a restaurant up here on the sky deck too. 
distorted some very expensive food and a very expensive beer. But we have also a very expensive view. Get to sit up here, enjoy our expensive food and our expensive beer, and this beautiful view of the city, San Cristobal Hill. Very cool. Actually, I just noticed also from up here, we can see the Japanese garden on San Cristobal Hill where we visited at the end of that video. I mean, that's so cool. It's so cool to see it up here. Man, it was a heck of a like a hike from, uh, I mean, it wasn't too long of a hike, but long enough, long enough to be uh, kind of annoying from the gate, which is like down there. From the gate down there, up around past the curve and over but there it is super cool we can actually go up one more floor and uh, we're gonna do that actually you know what let's do that right now because these air conditioners are just extremely loud here I don't know how this is gonna turn out sound wise for this part of the video we may have to end up cutting all of this floor. Open sky. Let's check this out. Well, that was a hell of a view from up there. Definitely wasn't the only American there. There were other people speaking English. Uh, so, for sure. No, gracias. 
for sure not the only American there, not the only tourist. It's a very touristy spot. I mean, if you are here as a tourist, it's, I mean, you can't, you can't beat the view. And one of the things I will say is, you know, I've been up in a bunch of tall buildings like that, different cities, especially in my city, Chicago, Sears Tower slash Willis Tower. Go up to the top, get a great view of the whole city. But one thing that's kind of nicer about this, even though the tower is much, uh, you know, shorter than, uh, than is like the Sears Tower, the Willis Tower, the landscape is amazing with all the view, like the, uh, the hills around, being able to see, um, yeah, just like the whole landscape of the city is a lot more interesting, unfortunately, for Chicago. I love Chicago. It's a very flat city, so you can see for a long way, but there's no, uh, no real natural wonder for you to see. Just more, more city heading out in every direction, but it's pretty cool going up there, I think. That's gonna be it for the video. I think we're gonna call it. We're gonna find ourselves a uh, metro stop, head back. But I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned. We have a lot more coming. See you around.